Sabina was at Jamia and then she went to the Australian Film and Television School. Uh, two of her notable films are Good Man and My Mother India. My Mother India will be playing in this hall next month, 24th May. So I'll keep you posted. Um, this film has actually won accolades all over the world, like all her work. So I won't like get into that list. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Srilata, she is the Associate Professor at the Center for Disability Studies and Action at the School of Social Work, Yes. Okay. So, there you go. Thank you for coming, Srilata, because I really wanted to uh, really discuss the film in that context, you know, not just as a film, but also uh, really what it exposed us to, because it really changed our understanding of uh, disability. Um, would you like to start? Yeah, um, thank you very much for having me here and uh, uh, some of my colleagues and others have also come here and I invite them to join in too if uh, you feel so. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Of course. All right. Um, what touched me about this film was that we are all human with or without uh, an impairment, with or without disability and the human part of every human being is what is brought out in this film and how it's okay, I mean, we all communicate differently, we do things differently. It doesn't matter whether I have an impairment, even if I can't talk, I communicate. And that has come up very beautifully in this film. And it's the choice we make, uh, whether we want to um, magnify and portray our impairment, or the impairment of the other, which Chris did in the film, or the choice to treat the individual as a human being. Basically, as a human being, a human being who does things differently the way uh, man as compared to what I would do. So what he did was he had a wonderful relationship with his wife. Um, he learned how to communicate with his wife. And that's the hardest part in human relationship because we, even though without an impairment, we don't know how to communicate with our spouses. We don't know how to communicate with our parents. We don't know how to communicate with our children. And in this film, this whole aspect of communication has been so sensitively brought out, has so effectively been portrayed that should I want to, should I need to, I will make the effort to transcend all kinds of barriers and communicate because I want to communicate. And I think that to me was very powerful a message in this documentary. Uh, the other aspect that touched me was, I'm basically a human being with my own inner power. And this power is at this level, at the gut level, not at any appearance, not in any intellect, not anywhere there, but at the gut level. So if I tap that inner power, I'm sure that I will be able to do things, learn from, even though things don't produce the kind of results that I desire, I will be able to do things that make meaning to my life and therefore to that, therefore to others' lives. Um, to me, this has been very effectively portrayed. Uh, also because this guy says, well, um, I'm a farmer. I tried this, I experimented this, but ultimately I'm a farmer. And I love what I'm doing in farming. Well, it's okay for me to be a brothel keeper or, you know, run this parlor, but it's okay. I mean, I tried and I don't like it and that's okay. I can shift gears. <laughs> and I think that's wonderful for us to have that freedom and use that freedom. A lot of times we are boxed into stereotypes. Not Chris, not Chris. Not Chris, yes. And how did he do it? Because he, he was being a human being all the time. Not trying to protect and defend his image. He didn't marry... Um, uh, Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, sorry. He didn't marry Rachel because he had to. He was, being, he was being a good man. He married Rachel because he loved her. And he wanted to be with her. And... and and what I also like about this film was there's no eulogizing him about oh what a wonderful man he is and you know he sacrificed his life all those <laughs> maybe maybe Srinitha, if I might interrupt you because I think you've made a lot of really dense points.